Hello, this is Cleantech Business Club, once again from the sunny Anaheim, from the former Solar Power International. And uh, we are together with Andreas from uh, Dusan Grid Tech. Andreas, of course, uh, he was with us in Brussels. Yeah. And it's very interesting, so he has already the overview how Europe is acting with all the geopolitical changes in the world. And he came here to SPI, also as our partner, to discover what is the situation in the United States. Yes? So, Andreas, uh, first of all, uh, thank you so much for your support. Hey, <laughs> great to see you again. And thank you, and I'm happy to be here in Anaheim. It's not my first. I've probably been here almost, probably more than five, no, six times. And it's a great place. It's not only the Disney World here, it's something even more special here than the Disney World. That's the SPI, or how they call it now? Uh, RE Plus. Yes. RE Plus, Renewable Plus. So yesterday you had the chance because you got a seat, yes? Yeah. In the room for the energy storage workshop. But there was so a lot of people, you know, and even overloaded standing around. So which means that the market is even booming more than in the past, yes? Yeah, absolutely. It's booming a lot of people. I have trouble to find a coffee here. So many people. Yeah, the market is booming. We have uh, uh, something what I probably experienced many, many years ago with the dot-com boom in 99. Yeah, but let's hope that it will not finish the same. Yeah? <laughs> that's how we hope. And that's I see that a lot of steps are taken, especially here in the United States. And I'm proud to be here. And I'm proud that I live in the United States, that a lot of steps are taking to uh, secure our future and the future of renewable energy. One, uh, uh, everybody knows the new Inflation Reduction Act is a great step forward. Mm -hmm. And again, you can see how many people benefit from that, how many new jobs are created, and how best we, how best we become in our energy supply. Uh, we are attending yesterday this energy storage workshop by Ibiza. Yes, so thank you so much uh, once again, Ibiza team. It was exceptional. What is your feedback and uh, uh, what is now uh, the big things uh, for storage here in the United States? The big things is to move the project forward. We have a huge dependency here on foreign batteries, mainly from China. We need to develop our production, our manufacturing here in the United States. We need to attract more manufacturers uh, in the United States, and I'm actively helping uh, a company to move uh, to manufacture here in the United States. And there are many, many incentives, but are also thousands and more and thousands of jobs that have to be created here, especially to stabilize our supply chain, which we see a lot of disruption. Yes, because yesterday we had a lot of discussions uh uh, with uh, Li Mi, uh, who was former director of uh, uh, solar energy in the Department of Energy and now is uh, director of uh, energy services in uh, Los Angeles County. So Mi told me, Tomas, we need to bet for the manufacturing here in the United States uh, because uh, there will be uh, um, local content requirements. It's not only about the tariffs, the local, it's also about the securing a supply chain, a safe supply chain, because the batteries uh, are very sensitive uh, to transport, to take them over from uh, over the Pacific Ocean, to uh, put all the cells together. It's a, it's, it's a huge process. Having that in the United States, having the capabilities there will allow us to develop quick and cost-efficient projects for our utilities. And uh, I see there is no other way around than to move first assembling, second manufacturing, and even uh, tied some mining activities, which, are, uh, which we know that they are mainly in Chile, Argentina, Bolivia, and other countries, tied them to the United States. So many of our speakers today uh, said that uh, there is a quite an issue now with the supply. Yes, there is a shortage of supply. So what is your opinion on that? There is a big issue with the supply. There is shortage on batteries. There are big price swings, which we cannot control here from the U.S., which uh, kills a lot of projects. And every day we, were, we are surprised by new swings and by uh, unclarity how we can finance and model the uh, storage project, which are crucial for our mm -hmm. grid stability. Grid stability and storage, go, they go together. Because uh, Dusan Grid Tech actually is supplying the whole solution, yes? It's not only just the storage. We supply the EPC, we 
we not only uh, purchase the batteries or the cells, we assemble them, we put them in place, we connect them, and we commission them. Also, operational maintenance, so we take care that this system is working for the next 20 years. Yes, because you have a team uh, of uh, the guys who are former Microsoft guys, yes? I have a team of different, very diverse team. Uh, they are, of course, uh, the founders of uh, One Energy, which is the precursor of uh, Dosan Grid Tech, mm -hmm. uh, are from Microsoft. We have great software developers from Gra Microsoft because our software platform, our DGAS, uh, Dosan Grid Asset Controller, is probably one of the best in the market. Maybe it's the best, but I will try to be humble here. Mm -hmm. and. We have engineers, power system engineers. We design the power mm -hmm. uh, connection. We have specialists in inverters, in batteries, and also we have good project managers who are taking care of the whole project and the construction. Sandras, you are uh, in the energy sector quite a long time, and uh, you were observing you know, the evolution of technology in solar industry, and now you also observe the evolution in the storage, yes? So how do you think, uh, what will be the next big technologies in the storage? The next big technology in the storage probably will take some years, but we are looking at many technologies, flow batteries that are reviving. We have the uh, very innovative company, and I know the CEO, Eric Dressel, who's ESS in Portland. We have a former energy in Boston. We have many, many new technologies. So the chemistry of the batteries will definitely evolve. Mm -hmm. That's why we in Dorsan Grid are not diving deep in the chemistry. We and our USP is to integrate batteries mm -hmm. regardless of their internal chemistry. We can integrate any battery. Okay, because I spoke with your team that actually you are not delivering the product, but first you go to the customer, you ask what they want, and actually you are tailoring the solution. Yeah, yeah we deliver the solution. So we have some issues, of course, now with the uh, shortage of energy storage, with this fluctuation of the prices. But uh, do you think that the future, anyway, for energy storage is bright? And uh, if yes, yes. I why? Think, yes, and I will give you an example. Probably everybody knows uh, the company Generac. Generac was uh, uh, the number one in the U.S. Uh, by far in uh, backup diesel generators. What they are doing now? They are offering backups uh, batteries, and they are very uh, moving very fast in this direction. So a big advantage of the batteries is that in less than 200 milliseconds, we are on the grid. So in a heartbeat. We can solve any grid issue. Last but not least, so we just met with uh, Julia Ham from SIPA. So best regards to Julia. Best regards uh, to Julia. And uh, it was amazing because Julia already, you know, 20 years ago uh, was uh, introducing clean technologies to utilities, yes? Yes. And as you are working with utilities and uh, you are specialized in the utility scale solutions, so how do you see the evolution of the attitude of utilities towards clean technologies? Oh, uh, they are opening up. They are hiring people who understand renewable. It's a big shift, but it's also a big cult cultural change that uh, we experience with utilities and utilities that used to be very conservative and moving slow are sometimes uh, the first mover. I want to mention Nextera, which is doing a lot of uh, uh, innovative projects, but also Nova Scotia, mm -hmm. uh, a utility in Canada, which is very innovative, and we can go on and on. So utilities are adapting. They are. Uh, they may be, in many technologies, the first adopters. I'm very impressed by the progress I see in the utilities. So uh, we also discussed about our Together We Are Stronger, yes, with Julia, yeah. and uh, she said this is also a SIPA uh, slogan. Not only slogan, but this is, you know, uh, must have, yes? Absolutely. And, and how do you think uh, how we should uh, work and how we can cooperate uh, with utilities here in the United States? Uh, we should uh, definitely work and cooperate with them. That's out of question, of course. We should be uh, we should start with uh, with uh, developing the projects together with the uh, utilities provide the engineering support and uh, operation and maintenance with the utilities but also help them analyze the grid and uh, just uh, inform about the newest solution on the market i think uh, utilities are moving in a new era 
and uh, we will help them because together, together we are stronger. Exactly. So thank you so much, Andreas, once again for and the support. Thumbs up for the batteries. <laughs> thank you so much. And thumbs up for batteries, for energy storage, for SIPA, for SIA, and for this. Uh, and for Thomas. Yes, and for this uh, such amazing event. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you.